In this lesson, we'll introduce our first React component from Material UI, and it is the CSS baseline component. The interesting thing about this component is that it doesn't render anything visual to the screen. Instead, the CSS baseline component does something special for us, and that is CSS normalization. What that means is that it standardizes many different elements so that they look the same across different browsers. So different web browsers, such as Chrome or Firefox or Opera, actually have different default settings for things like margin or padding, which means that when users visit your website, they may actually see a slightly different version in one browser versus another. The way we solve that problem is by having a style sheet that kicks off with normalization styles, basically setting the same standard, setting the same starting values for some of those key CSS attributes so that they apply to all browsers. It's almost like a reset where everything is set to a base standard. And this component does exactly that for us. As we can see on its documentation page, it says, MUI provides a CSS baseline component to kickstart an elegant, consistent, and simple baseline to build upon. And that's the first thing we're going to add to our project because Material UI makes it so simple now to actually normalize these inconsistencies of cross browsers. We simply add a existing component from this library to our application. So in my terminal, I wanna make sure I start my React dev server. So we're gonna run npm run start and we should see our standard project on localhost port 3000. It's that rotating React logo. And then I'm gonna go into my code base in VS Code and I'm gonna open up my app JS component. And here we have the starter code for that rotating logo. We don't need any of this. So I'm just gonna remove everything here as far as the JSX. And at the very top, we do not need the logo import or the app CSS file. You can even delete those files if you want to, but I'm just gonna hold off on that. And here I'm gonna import my first component from Material UI. So right here, import CSS baseline, which is the default export from this library, at MUI slash material. And then to improve the import process, I'm actually going to go into a nested folder within this top level NPM package, which is CSS baseline. And that is a recommended way to import because it will actually reduce your bundle size compared to importing from the top level directory of material. Okay, so now I have this component and what I'm gonna do is simply instantiate it or render it in line, CSS baseline, make it a self-closing component like so, and there we go. So in our browser, we're not gonna see anything, but this will again, normalize the CSS styles across different browsers and nothing is breaking, which means the code is compiling just fine. All right, so that wasn't too exciting, but it is uh, an important uh, showcase of some of the super helpful features that Material UI includes out of the box. In React world, it's as simple as importing a component and rendering it. And what we get from that simple code that we just did is consistent normalization of CSS across all browsers. Back in the old days, you need to add a separate NPM library or many times drag a separate CSS file into your project from a uh, community effort like normalize.css. Now it's as simple as importing a React component. All right, so in the very next lesson, we're gonna uh, render our first component that we're actually going to see visually on the screen. And I look forward to seeing you there.